Starring the Tweetings, Sammy, Spencer, Jeff, and Susie. Musical guest, The Tweetings. Brought to you by The Tweetings. Now, here's The Tweetings. Sorry about that abrupt and violent ending. My phone is still having an Instagram glitch, so I had to switch phones again. Bummer. The Peter Noon opening was special, one time only, Mother's Day. Did you mean Day. Peter No One? Yeah. He's not a no one to me. Only to Alexa. Oh. <laughs> No, she's listening. Scary. I know the pregnant Barbie, who's not a Barbie, is horrifying. Mm. That's why I love her and I post her every Mother's Day. Oh my god. Sorry. What happened? This thing fell over. Oh my Jesus. What is it? It's just a thing of junk. Oh Spencer, you scared the crap out of me. Maybe this will make you feel better. Oh my god. What can I do? How can I show you? So you can see. That I am someone that you want me to be. I'm only me, not someone better, not someone good. I'd be a soldier, that's if I only could. Tell my army to change the world, and I'd be someone like you want me to be in my little life. I know that the world must keep on turning. Life is like a school I don't want to keep on learning Even though it treats me like a fool This is our lot To live together
Nice. Though I'm not prepared to keep on learning. Oh. That's what it is. Okay. Song? Uh, Till Death Us Do Part by the Kinks. Paul already told everyone. Thanks, it, Paul. That's a pretty deep <sighs> Kinks cut. With yeah. a K. That'd be with a K. Kinks cut. Hmm. That's a little too close to multiple Ks. Yep. <laughs> Ugh. Does anyone work at Instagram who's on here? <laughs> I guess that song bummed. didn't help at all. You're still thinking about it. Well, it's super annoying. I deleted the entire Instagram app and put it back on thinking it would fix it, like Spencer thought. What can I do? I'm going to play it again. <sighs> what can I show you so that you can see? Kel Croydon. <laughs> I like saying Kel Croydon. I was playing this guitar or one. Yeah, guys, it looks great because I had to switch phones. You weren't here in the beginning and it was not great and I had to end it and switch phones abruptly and violently. After like four or five seconds, it was fine. Is it fine, Jeff? As you sit there just being adored while I have to do all the work? (laughs) As if. As if your butt. Anywho. Whew. Yeah, they say they're playing at the Virtual Hangout Fest. I don't know. That It was news to me. Is it news to you, Jeff? Kind of. <laughs> it says Wilco. I don't... I will get back to you tomorrow night. I don't remember what that is. It can't really be Wilco, though. No, how could it be? Especially... We don't have that kind of technology. No. It's like basically teleportation with, or a really vibrant, robust, isolated server for our own Uber Zoom. <laughs> well, that ain't happening. Nope. Especially by this weekend when that Hangout Fest is happening. Nope. <laughs> We've had a rough day with... Um, yeah, we Moder- did. Minor modern inconveniences. Today's been really annoying. Granted, annoying. all annoying. very first world problems, but still annoying. I don't even, yeah. So. The, 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 this, those first world problems are pretty fucking bad these days. <laughs> that's true, but, you know, we're all healthy. Yeah, Not that's gun wood. true. Knock on wood. Toot, I think I did spit you on you. You have to spit three times. <laughs> Be a good Jew. How ironic. That. Yeah, oh, you God, just honestly. gave me. No, you didn't. Oh, yeah. I'm fine, Dad. Hi, Dad. <laughs> Hi, Bruce. Hi, Danny. Hi, Kendall. Hi, Charlesies. What the fuck? I built a cabinet today. Oh my for God. Susie. He is unbearable, isn't he, Spencer? You know how many things I've built and got no metal to pin on my chest? <laughs> it's not my fault you didn't have an Instagram show to like brag about it on back then. <laughs> But only part of our our shelf orders showed up. Yeah, we ordered some IKEA shelves, and they send me fucking half of them. After <laughs> all of the fucking free motherfucking advertising that we've given them for these, right for, for these, these curtains, you cannot get anymore. These decommissioned curtains. <laughs> it's just a stupid Billy IKEA cabinet. Nothing to get excited over. But they only sent me half the order. Like for fuck's sake. And. And I put it together. I waited a month. It's the first time I've put it. I put anything together. Not with, my first time. No, I've put a lot of things together, but it's the first time I put together anything from IKEA where I didn't have to take it apart at least once <laughs> and put it back together. Exactly. Hi, <laughs> Ellen. Yeah, Jeff. That's why I said please that's make sure up. that they're not. Facing the wrong I way or that. upside down. I do. I, I, I have had this experience. You know experience. what? Everyone understands about of putting course. together IKEA. Of course. Okay. It's um. It's an. It's a. Um, uh, you, sh- you have to join. You should join Mensa if you get it done without an extra piece 
or missing anything. Oh, please, anything. Jeff. I never have an extra piece or am missing anything unless they only send me half my order. No, you can't see it because I'd have to walk through a disaster. I Is remember there one time. See? There's nothing to see. You know the the big shifferobes upstairs? Shifferobe. <laughs> What are they? I've never used that word in my life. I've never heard that. Well, you're not from the South. No, I'm not. Neither am I, but I'm from yes, sub- you are. Southern Illinois, and we say shifferobe down there. Anyway, do you know that one upstairs that I put together? And I, one of the instructions it says is, it has an X through it, is doing it by yourself. He says you should have another person. Yes. That's because when I went to stand that one up, it fell over and completely broke itself apart. Remember that? Yeah, you're an idiot. No offense. Yeah, that was a none taken. Why did Danny say good point about Nick? Who's Nick and what was the point? The point was, why isn't Nick Offerman birthing you some bookshelves out of his loins? <laughs> that is a good question. Yeah. We're like putting gives. together sad Ikea Billy shelves while Nick is a master. You've been so excited waiting for those Billy shelves. Yeah, because I need them for fuck's sake. Uh, yeah, we don't have anywhere to display your Pyrex. Just shut it. I've been waiting a whole goddamn month. I was so excited. That's all I've been talking about was that it was coming today. Who cares? Boring. Let's get back to the Tweety Show. This is the Tweety Show. This <sighs> is the essence of the Tweety Show. And then my phone just still won't work for Ikea or whatever it's called, Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> oh, those goddamn Ikea sweets. I don't remember any of my songs. I do. You want me to sing them? Yes. Okay. No problem. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, let me calm down. What you, which one are you going to sing? I'm going to sing the one that goes, Shut your fucking face. It's <laughs> a good one. I will never sing. Yeah, they're using that one in a big theme commercial now. Ugh, I know. <laughs> Hi, Paul. Um, Ikea Life. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, for fuck's sake. These are all these swears. I'm going to say they're for Charlesy's, our 10 year old nephew, but really, I just need to swear right now. Sorry, Dad. Everybody should be allowed to. Well, I am allowed. I swear my ass off, but my dad doesn't That's like true. it. He thinks we're going to lose clients because I swear too much. But I only do it for Charlesy's. Which is a questionable practice, to be honest. I don't know if that impulse should be, like, <laughs> rewarded. He's smart enough that he knows it's just for fun and he doesn't go to school and swear or something. Okay. He's going to, f- but at some point he's going to. Oh, f- sorry, f- he's 11. No, he's not. Wait. Oh, shit. He just turned 11, not 10? And at some point. Wait, did he? Yeah. Yeah. Holy shit. And at some point. I think that the he's going to become more fully conscious and aware of where those words are normally used and what they refer to, and he's going to be appalled at your behavior. Fuck that. <laughs> did you see that scavenger, or that viral tweet about someone's kids did a scavenger hunt for each other, and it was like a seven-year-old and a five-year-old or something, and the end of the scavenger hunt that the seven-year-old created for the five-year-old was just a piece of paper that said, fuck you in crayon. <laughs> I did see that. How did I see that? Did you send it to I me? I think I sent it to you. Yeah. Why would you not send that to me for fuck's sake? I did. Uh, Excuse I sent it me. to the fam chat. No, you didn't. I did. No, you didn't. <clears throat> I did. No, you didn't. Hi, Casey. Dad just starts playing to shut us up. You, you always wanted more time to do what you always.
always wanted to do And I got an eye I must be high To say goodbye said you needed this Now you're pissed that you missed The very last kiss For my lips and I I must be high To say goodbye Never looked in my eyes long enough to find any peace of mind, and I got an eye. I must be high to let you say goodbye. I must be high. Dork. <laughs> no offense. Danny is Charlesy's loving reading all these f bombs that people are saying now. <laughs> Have I ever played that one on this show? No, yeah. I don't think so. I don't know. Ask that guy that has the Google thing. <laughs> what? It's a Google thing. The list of all the songs you've played. It's so cool. Hmm. Hi, WZRD Chicago, an excellent radio station. Thanks for the shirt. Awesome. Seema and or Macy said that's my move. About oh yeah, Dick, I think. <laughs> Hi Seema and or Macy. Oh, don't do it again. It hurts my ear balls. Seema and Macy want me to. <laughs> do they? Hurts your ear balls. Oh, I'm sorry about your mom. Someone asked you to do. Please tell my brother for his mom who died this week. Oh, I'm sorry. It's terrible. Please tell my brothers I love them still. Over the mountains on their phone bill. I should call more often. Think about her, her skies are blue. Please tell my sister I miss her too. Please tell my father I love him still. Forget the railroad and all those bills. Head for the cooler and drink 
your fill Please tell my father I love him still Listen, dear mother, I miss you the most And as I travel from coast to coast I feel your love and I feel your ghost Listen, dear mother, I miss you the most Yesterday was Susie's mom's birthday, who we very, miss very much, and it happens to fall on Mother's Day quite often. Yep, double whammy. <sighs> Mood swing. <laughs> Judy, Bubba. Yep. What's your happiest memory of Bubba Spencer? <clears throat> the, or Bubba babysitting me while mom worked at Lounge Jacks and you were either at Lounge Jacks or on tour. And yep. Bubba giving me a box of snow caps. And to this day, if <laughs> I see even a single snow cap, I think of Bubba automatically. Me too. You and were I, only four yeah. when she died. Yeah. <laughs> she babysat me all the time because you were nocturnal. Every weekend. Well, because I was working at Objects. Yeah. She also said that you got up and got in your little toy car one time with a guitar and an amplifier, a little toy guitar and amplifier, and I went was to at the front door. Went to went to the front door, and she said, "Where are you going?" She said, "You said I got a gig." <laughs> <laughs> I think. Doesn't it wasn't that like after bedtime? Like she had put me to bed. Yeah. And she found me at the front door. Yeah, and Ellie. the guitar was one of those like three inch long guitars. It's really sad. That's uh, sad and cute and sad. Adorable. <coughs> it's not sad. I don't think. <clears throat> and then mysteriously, snowcaps showed up at Sammy's bar mitzvah. That's a true story. Really? Yeah. Yeah. I remember that. The uh, woman that did the catering didn't remember buying them. She had. We no, asked, that's not what happened. Well, she said she'd never. She went back into the store to get them. That's what happened. Mm. She said she had no. She she'd felt never bought them before. To go back in and get them, <laughs> and right. and then I told her that story, and she freaked out of her gourd, and I was freaking out of my gourd. Did you freak out of your ball sack? I did freak out of my ball sack. Get out, person! Who? Someone just said their mom's name is also Judy, and also buys her snow caps. Otherwise known as non prize. <laughs> Why am I showing the door? I thought I heard Sammy. Yeah, Sammy's just playing it cool. Sammy. What? <laughs> Get in here. I'm like focused on an empty doorway. Oh, whatever. What's You're he, losing what your entrance. Sorry, okay. I'm coming. Oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> Sammy, there's someone who calls you Sam Squatch. Sam Squanch? Sam Squatch? It should be Sam Squanch, but they say Sam Squatch. Because um. you're mysteriously, <sighs> you know. So I'm a mythical creature. Mm-hmm. Okay. What's happening? We're gonna do a Jewish prayer. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? You're doing that? Yeah. Did you learn it? Yeah. Did Dad learn it? Yeah. Why we've didn't been, you warn me? We've been knowing it. Yeah, you're going to cry your butt off. But I wonder if Cantor Shelley's here. She's probably not. Well, explain the song, Sammy. We're going to do a prayer for healing that is usually done, and people think of people that... Are sick. Are sick. And need healing in some way. And need way. healing, and when this prayer is done, but right now, obviously, it oh. applies to the whole world. What the heck? <clears throat>
blessing and let us say Amen Mi I think um, that version was made by Debbie Friedman. Yeah. And when they sing it in the synagogue, they look around and you can call out the name of the person that you care about that needs healing, or you could just think the name. It's really beautiful. Oh my God, Sammy. Way to <laughs> fuck me up. <laughs> <laughs> Should we do it again? <laughs> It's a beautiful song, and it is a beautiful. We song. all sing it for each other when we're sick and stuff. <laughs> what? Nothing. Good job, guys. Oh, that was so pretty. Nice. Yeah, good harmonies. Thanks. Very canterly. <laughs> you should both be cantors and rabbis. Okay, settled. <laughs> okay, let me calm down. Okay, let me calm down. <clears throat> Ugh, I love that. We should probably do that every Tweety show because <laughs> we're doing this show because we all need healing. Yeah. Hey, hey. Ooh, we're gonna go electric. Way to spoil this. <laughs> Judas. I don't know if I can do it. Um, Wait, are you going to sit there? No. Wherever, we'll go wherever you want me to go. I need you to go near Spencer. Spencer's well, I think playing we drums. Can. I'm no, we're going to be right here. What? I'm gonna be right oh, you're not playing drums? I don't know what the hell is going on here. <laughs> what? You're going electric, but you're not playing drums? You'll see. Judas. <laughs> happening well i'm right by the amp I, i'm confused is this an instrumental how are you going to be heard over electric are you singing sammy mm-hmm. okay maybe we'll go this way then Sometimes I feel so sad Sometimes I feel so happy But mostly you just make me mad Baby, you just make me mad I 
I could make the world as pure and strange as what I see. I'd put you in the mirror I put in front of me. I put in front of me. Skip a life completely Stuff it in a cup She said money is like us in time It lies but can't stand up Down for you is up Good what we did yesterday And I do it once again The fact that you are married Only proves you're my best friend But it's truly, truly a sin beautiful. <laughs> Danny said, why is Sammy trying to kill us tonight? <laughs> Everyone's crying. Crying. You should show everybody Dad's cool tiger sticker. Where? Ooh, fancy. Do you want to do teenage FBI? This is the king of Thailand, I think. Oh. Sure. Is that possible? I asked him weekly. I apologize if, I, if it's not. somewhere where I can fit you in the camera. <laughs> I don't come in for a while.
jab goes. <laughs>
we'll, we'll slap you on the book. We'll prefer Wix. That's great. That's the first cares? time you've ever said it. It's fun as fuck. Alex Chilton. You ever, you ever, uh, have you ever sung that before? No. First time. First time. Okay, let me calm down. Okay, let me calm <clears> down. <throat> so good, Sammy. You guys are bonks tonight. We're rocking. It's all pent up, pent up rock energy. But if you're gonna like play electric, shouldn't there be a microphone or? I, what, I could hear you. Could you? Could be, Could clients hear him? No, I don't think we could hear him that well. Pete Seeger's gonna come out of that closet over there and chop the. Uh, Jeffrey cord. Spencer. Jeff. What? That's what? disgusting. What? I think we should learn War Pigs. <laughs> you could do a mean Aussie, I think. You could do a really good Aussie. And
<laughs> oh, that's a good one. We played that. That's the second time we've ever played that together. Yeah. Did yeah. we do it on a sound check or something sometime? No. We did it when you came to Sammy's in my summer camp. Oh my god. And that's played right. a show for the summer camp. Oh my god. That oh was boy. so hilarious. Look and who's the, got the spreadsheet now. On that the was, tennis court. Right? That was No, it was in the theater. That was We must have done that twice. That was one of the worst audiences I've ever had in my life. <laughs> I got hit in the head with a basketball because we were they set us up on the basketball court and some kids just refused to stop playing. Do you remember that? Yeah. There were kids like just bouncing balls everywhere. It was just like this is this was has been a great experience. It was all my evil plan just so we could yeah. see our kids when they were at camp for a month. That is true. And I, and I, I played know. along with it. And oh, I doy. paid a price. Did you? I still have the, uh, the performing logo. insecurities from that one day. I don't think so. Ow. The Spalding logo on your forehead? <laughs> I just still have, <laughs> have the Voigt logo on my forehead. <laughs> the, the Voigt logo is from my own days in grade school. <laughs> we had a Vietnam vet who was our PE coach when I was in junior high. And I, honest to God, think he was having flashbacks from time to time. That's terrible. The amount of just fire that he would put into dodgeball. Oh, well, that's just no, a macho no, thing. No, it was, it was painful. He would hurt people. Yeah, that's just a macho thing. I don't think you need he to be a Vietnam like vet. A, he was built like a gorilla. That's just a personality Thing. And he would turn red as a beet when he gets so angry when somebody would get him out and when the second next chance he had to get it back in the game, he would with a vengeance take that kid out like on a stretcher. That's horrible. What? I mean I hope you're exaggerating. I'm not exaggerating. Oh really? A kid went out on a stretcher? Every day. Shut up. <laughs> you are so. But I did. Get, I honestly did get hit in the face with a ball that I think left a void mark for a little while. You probably deserved it. No offense. You always have my back, honey. I do. I appreciate that. <laughs> no, I'm just saying that some people <clears throat> just play that stupid game like that. Who? People. People play that game? Do you dodge guys ball? have dodgeball? I'm talking about when I they was a kid. They outlawed dodgeball. Not when I was a kid, and some people played we had it in junior high. Did violently. You? Oh, good. In high school. Spitzy! My eye hurts. Your eye hurts? Why? I don't know, it itches. Oh, no. Do you have conjunctivitis? No. I always think you have conjunctivitis.
song. It's, been, it's a work in progress. That's why nobody could tell anybody. Thank you for stopping.